All right, I'm gonna cut into the pie. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Money. Welcome back to another international taste test. Today we're eating some food from the United Kingdom. Big thank you to Michelle Tai for sending us these treats. We are really looking forward to this um, because number one, we haven't tried any of these. And number two, we're super hungry. It is like past 2 p.m. here in Tokyo and we haven't eaten anything all day today. The hungriness makes food delicious. That is true. That is a very good point, Satoshi. All right, so we're gonna start off with this one. This is the Wilson's Mold Red Wine Spice Bags. So basically, I think these are the spices to make uh, hot wine. Mm. And um, Ooh, hot wine spice. Yeah, oh. and that's something that we both like to drink during the winter. Um, although it is summertime here. <laughs> Sorry, because there's always a delay. Um, it's okay because who says hot wine is only suitable for winter? Not me. So we basically followed the instructions, except we did not have orange slices. For some reason, there was no orange at the store today. It's so strange because there's always orange, but strange. So we only have lemon, and um, I think that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. um, this is mixed with sugar as well. Mm -hmm. It's been simmered for 15 minutes with that sachet of spices. So, cheers everybody. Cheers. Come by. Mm, nice smell. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love this. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love this. Maybe I put a little bit too much lemon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not, not too much. Not, not too, too much. much. Is it's it good. not too sour? Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's really yummy. It's like um, it's mm. sour. It's a little bit sour mm. because I put a little bit too much lemon, but there's sugar in here mm -hmm. as well, so mm -hmm. it's like sweet and cinnamony because of the spices. Cinnamony. <laughs> cinnamony. <laughs> cinnamony. <laughs> For me, it's unpleasant taste. It's unpleasant taste. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That's right. You don't like cinnamon. This guy does not like cinnamon at all. I have one more drink. It's beer. Blue Dog Elvis Juice. Grapefruit infused IPA. Yay! Grapefruit. IPA. Grapefruit infused. Grapefruit That's interesting. Infused. And it's Elvis the Juice. Interesting name. It's juice. Yeah. Not Elvis. Beer. No, 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 no. It's definitely beer. I'm pretty sure it's beer. <laughs> I mean, it's, it says IPA, doesn't it? I'm sure that doesn't mean juice. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful. color. It's, the color is like orange. Yeah, kind of orange. Mm. Mm. I was almost gonna say amber, but it's not. It's actually, like you said, it's orange. It's orange for me. Oh, that's mm. a very, very unique color. Oh, the smell. It's so fruity. Really? Fresh, fruity oh, smell. Smells good. Mm. I don't really drink beer, mm. but this smells amazing. Mm. Itadakimasu. Kanpai. Dozo. I'm gonna drink my mold wine. Yes, it's juice. Juice? Tastes like juice. Is it sweet? No, sweet. But Sato. there's a subtle sweet taste. Really? Yes. Really? Um, like fruit. Because it is grapefruit infused. That sounds mm. good. I can taste the grapefruit taste. Really? I think I'm gonna have a sip mm. if I can. Mm. It's so fresh, so refreshing. Oh, mm. that is refreshing. Mm. You know, yeah. this beer has a good balance with beer, bitterness, and fruit taste. All right. Okay, now on to the snacks. The first snack we have is from Market Deli. These are potato crisps. Potato crisp soup. And these are, these are flame grilled Spanish chorizo and roasted onion flavor. Mmm. Does that sound good to you? Sounds very beer. It sounds very beer. <laughs> what does that mean? Beer friendly snack. <laughs> oh, smells like uh, barbecue chips Ooh. for me. Oh. Smells like a barbecue. Kara is orange. Yeah. Mmm. It looks like barbecue chips. Mm. Yeah. Dogimas. Mmm. Mmm. My oh, favorite I taste. Like that. My favorite taste. It's a little bit smoky. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. And yep. barbecue flavor. My barbecue. barbecue flavor. Mm. Very, very barbecue. There's flavor. a little bit of tanginess. Yes. Kind of like, you know, like a tomato saucy mm. tanginess. Mm. Um, mm. Definitely has an onion flavor, mm. but mm. seriously though, if you didn't tell me, I would think these are really good barbecue flavored potato chips. Mm. These three, beer, snack, and me. Good friend. The next one, I think this is a very good with wine. Ooh. It's bruschette bites. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm. 
Oh, so this is not from Italy. It looks like it would be from Italy. Italian style. Italian, Italian style. style. Okay, so this is from a company called Maretti, mm -hmm. and these are oven baked. And it says this is the Quattro Formaggi flavor. Quattro Formaggi. So it means four types of cheese. Four types of cheese. Ooh. Oh, you know, you're Italian today. <laughs> this kind of remind me of like a uh, croutons, like Crouton. thinly sliced oh. wide croutons. And they smell cheesy. Mmm. Mm. And they taste cheesy. Oh yeah, I love this crisp. Mmm, mm. crispy and it's super really flavorful. Sakutto, sakutto. Mmm, sakusakutto. Love mm. that. Cheesy, very cheesy. Oh, wow. Mm. Today's dinner, appetizer is potato crisps and bruschetta bites. Oh, mm. so what's our main meal tonight? <laughs> Beer. So next is something called bovril. Bovril. I think that's how you pronounce it. Bovril. And this oh. is beef bovril, the original beef extract. And oh. I hear that this is something that um, people in UK grow up with or are used to eating. Michelle says that this is an alternative to Vegemite or Marmite. And um, you can have it as a drink or even on toast mm. or as a flavoring in stews. Mm. So we're gonna make it into a soup today. Mm -hmm. uh, and just we're just gonna follow the instructions on the back. It says simply add one good teaspoon to a mug or, of hot water and enjoy. So that's exactly what we did. Mm -hmm. Alright, itadakimasu. Ah! Vegemite taste! Is it? Yes, Vegemite taste. But it is easy to drink. It's super easy, it's mm -hmm. like beef broth. I do like the taste of this. This reminds me Vegemite. Of, no, for me, it reminds me of like a Vegemite. No, for me, it reminds me of like a nice beef stock. That's what it. That's what it tastes like. It tastes really delicious. But it's really Vegemite. What do you mean? The taste is Vegemite. Is it? Yeah. For some reason, it's totally different for me. <sighs> it's it's like a combined with consomme soup and um, nori no tsukudani. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> As I was drinking, it reminded me of nori, that nori tsukudani that we talked about in a past video. If you guys don't know about that one, check that video over there. We actually show you how to use that Japanese ingredient. It's made of seaweed, by the mm -hmm. way. And mm -hmm. why does this taste like that now? <laughs> My opinion, the Vegemite taste like yes. nori no tsukudani. Yeah. So it's similar. True, mm -hmm. true. <laughs> Vegemite. <laughs> Maybe we As should. Soup. Well, you know, you can just try a little bit of this, mm -hmm. like this, mm. here, here, just just a little bit, you know, on the finger. Let's try it straight. Vegemite, but easy to eat. Tastes like a nori no tsukudani for me. Nori no tsukudani, yes, yeah, right? Same. Easier it's to similar. eat, right? Easy Easier to eat, eat than Vegemite, It's right? not so salty. No, that is true. Mm. Vegemite is way more saltier mm. than this. That is true, that's a good point. All right, so next, we had to bake it in the oven. This is Frey Bento's steak and egg pie. Oh, that oh, looks delicious. It's canned pie. Yes, it is. You know, basically we had to open it up, mm -hmm. you know, like any canned item, and we had to bake it in the oven for 25 minutes, mm -hmm. and it puffed up like this mm -hmm. beautifully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God, I love wow. this. I it's love the way it looks. Super easy pie. <laughs> that looks so good. It's so convenient. There's Oh my god, check it out. I am so excited to try this pie. I cannot believe this came in a can. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut into the pie. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Buddy. That sounds amazing. Buddy. I love that, that flakiness of the crust. I love that. This is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, look at that. Mm, so much feeling. Yeah, so much oh. feeling. And you have like, like it's like a, it's like a stew. Okay. All right. It's piping hot. Careful. Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> Did you burn your mouth? You bur burn your tongue. I said, be careful. The puff pastry, puff crust is so flaky. Mm. Sakutto. Mm. Mmm, mm. I can't believe this is from the can. I don't know. Mm. How do they make that? <laughs> I don't know. How do they make that? <laughs> how, how was the filling? 
it's beefy. Um, there are like chunks of beef in mm. there, kind of like um, like um, yeah, it's beefy. And <laughs> it almost for for me the taste is almost like this bovril oh, inside of this. Yeah. It tastes mm, like that. Mm, mm. Um, not a huge fan of it because I don't know. It's like the smell of it. It's reminiscent of like. Dog food, <laughs> but I mean, it doesn't taste like dog food. Um, no, I don't know. The, the, the smell is very, very strong for me like a really meaty smell, which but but not in such a pleasant way for me. But I like this the surface crust. Me too. Do you mm. like the inside? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love the crust, mm. I love the fakey, flaky How crust. How do they make that? <laughs> mm. Finally, we have dessert courtesy of Cadbury. Not sponsored by Cadbury, <laughs> but they should. <laughs> so this is Cadbury Dairy Milk Marvelous mm. Creations mm. with jelly popping candy. What does this look like? Is there something in there? Uh, yes, it's. I can see something. Something marble, marble thing. Marble thing. I see something colorful. Colorful thing. <laughs> I don't see anything marble thing. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I was like, is there a gummy? Gummy bear? Gummy bear? Like gummy? Mm. It's like a gummy texture. Mm, gummy texture. Mm. But also, there are like a chocolate covered chocolate. There, there's and also candy coated chocolate mm -hmm. here, like M and M's. As typical of Cadbury chocolates, the chocolate is like super smooth. I'm like a huge fan of the milk chocolate from Cadbury. Mm. I really do. Some people think it's too sweet, but I like my chocolate that way. This is delicious. Mm. Um, and I also love the texture. I love the different textural differences in this chocolate. I actually like it. How about you? I haven't known Cadbury before we started YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I haven't known. Really? Mm. Now, I ate many Cadbury chocolate. Mm. Okay. I like now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. Mm. Delicious, delicious. These are so addictive. Mm. Before we go, we just want to share with you guys some things that Michelle made for us because these are adorbs. They are so adorable. These are, um, what are these? These like charms or something mm, that you can mm, put on your phone, phone. or bag? Yeah. I will, I will use it for my phone. Yeah, here's one for you. It says, I need beer, <laughs> right? And then uh, the, I think this, this one is for me with a T. <laughs> and then we even have so Justin. I mean, she drew wow. Justin. I mean, it looks just like Justin. Yes, it does, yes. Right? Mm. It really does. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. They are so adorable. Uh, please feed me. So my favorite today is potato crisp. Potato crisps. Yes, it's potato crisps. The taste and the sakutoness is so good. <laughs> now, if you're new to our channel, sakuto, which Satoshi uses all the time, means crispy, crispy. in Japanese. Just to let you guys know, if you're new to this channel. Well, my favorite is the last one, the Cadbury mm -hmm. chocolate, the Marvelous Creations jelly popping candy. I love this. I really do. I love that combination of jelly and the popping candy and the creamy milk chocolate. So good. Mm. I like this too. Mm. So we've come to the end of our taste test. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please let us know your favorites in the comments down below and your thoughts if you have any. And if you enjoy these types of international taste tests, please subscribe. We have a whole playlist of international taste tests. If you're interested, click right over there. And if you watch those videos already, click that video down there because that one's a good video too. So please join us for another delicious taste test. See you very soon. Bye bye.